Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of In the Upper Room Outreach Ministries. My name is Shauna Easter. I want to say hello to everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I'm joined by the wonderful, talented, and extremely <laughs> creative Michael Riley. Good evening, Shauna. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great, and good evening to you at home. Good to see you again. It is I good. mean, I'm looking real hard up <laughs> to see you. Um, yeah, Michael and I have been very excited about this episode. We've been texting and yeah. talking about it and just trying to get everything organized. We have a very, very exciting lineup tonight. We have a little bit of something for everyone. Mm. So before we get started, though, we do have some announcements. You and I both have a couple of shout outs. So yeah. I guess I'll let you go first. All right. Well, first of all, I'm going to give a general shout out to our beautiful audience out there, Shauna. Hello to everyone. But, you know, we had some birthdays to pass. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you do one and okay. I'll do the other. Sounds good. Uh, I want to say happy belated birthday to uh, a gr great friend of mine and a terrific uh, friend and fan of In the Upper Room, Mr. Franny Cole. I know you're watching tonight. You always are. We love you, appreciate you, and celebrate you, even if it's a few days later. So happy birthday, Franny. Well, my birthday wish is belated also. I want to send out happy belated birthday to Fred Fitzgiles. He is always a help to our program, and he always comes to the rescue. And yeah. whenever he's here, man, it runs smooth as silk in here. Smooth. Just before we can even open your mouth to ask for something, he's got it. He's I'm like, I you. anticipated you needing <laughs> this. So here you go. I'm spoiled. So, I'm I know, spoiled. I'm spoiled too. Yeah. I'm spoiled also. So we do want to wish him a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. I hope he had a good day yesterday. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just want to let you know that we're thinking about you, Fred, and we hope you had a great weekend. Yeah. So with that, we have some announcements. Okay. You want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. Okay. Um, well, we're going to be running uh, a promotional a little later on. Um, we want to celebrate uh, and recognize Founders Day at the River of Life Church with Bishop uh, Greg Davis and co-pastor Kim Davis. Um, that's my home church as well, Shauna. Uh, one year old today, so uh, that's going on right now. We'll, we'll give you more information later so you can still go. And I'm just gonna tell them real quickly, Shauna. Okay. The River of Life Church on November the 26th, one hour of thanks, 11 a.m. Dinner will be served from 12 p.m. to 3, th uh, 3 o'clock p.m. And once again, that's going to be at the River of Light Church, 1201 North Van Buren Street, right here in Wilmington. And I noticed that you gave me the announcement that has the tongue twister in it. Of Was course. that on purpose? Well, you know, you're a little more fluent. Okay. The Leander Morris Memorial Music Scholarship Foundation. Say that fast. No. The Leander <laughs> Morris Memorial Music Scholarship Foundation is presenting the 16th Annual Scholarship Concert featuring the Hildeman Chorale. I've seen them once before. They are fantastic. Performing the Sounds of Christmas uh, and Beds of Hay, which is an original gospel cantata that will be held December 5th this year, 2009 at 5 p.m. Cornerstone Fellowship Baptist Church, which is here in Wilmington, Delaware. And that again is next, uh, that is, no, 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 the Sunday after next, right. December 5th. Okay, so we just wanted to pass that on. We have one more. Um, is that for yeah. later or now? Well, um, we can save that one for we'll later. We'll save that one for later. Yeah. All right, well, let's tell you who we have lined up for this evening's program. We have, I'll let, you want to go first? No, you go first. Okay. I'll, I'll well, we now. have, well, you know, every once in a while we have um, a nice health and fitness segment, which, you know, usually we had, we had Tai Chi on mm -hmm. one time, and yeah. we've had um, a lot of other people come on and just talk about living a healthy life, both uh, um, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Tonight we're going to talk about food and fitness and most important of all, how to combine the two with your family and make it fun. And with that, we've been joined with um, a fitness person extraordinary. His name is Mark Anthony. Very, very excited to have him on yeah. to tell you about the services that he provides. And then we also have Pritchett & Associates, yes, we our ongoing segment. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we're going to have um, On the Road with Doc Pritchett. Um, and that is uh, Mr. Maurice Pritchett, as you mentioned, Pritchett and Associates. Uh, and we actually got together, Pr uh, Mr. Pritchett and I, along with our great friend, B.B. Coker. Mm -hmm. And we had a visit with um, some local families and we got together at Bancroft School. So we're gonna show a little bit about what that experience was like. Okay, and then we also have joining us, and we are so excited and happy to have him here, Dr. Donald Morton. Yeah. So it's been one of those, uh, yeah. one of those family nights mm. when uh, everyone from the Channel 28 family gets to come and mix and mingle. So That's right. You know, I just had one of those brainstorms. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's hear it. We need to have, when we have our Christmas program, yeah. we need to get as many Channel 28 people on our program as we can. Just to wish happy Merry Christmas to 
the Wilmington viewers. I think that's Make it happen, Michael. All right, we'll make it. <laughs> you, you have it. I will do my best to bring them all to you all in one place. We tried last year to have a reunion of all of the old in the upper room. Yeah. But everyone is so scattered now, it was really difficult. Well, so we did have a reunion. Terry and Bill came. Terry out. and Bill, exactly. And they're here tonight in the studio, but you didn't hear me say that. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I was, I I was, was harassing him yesterday. I was like, are you going to come to the studio? <laughs> we might be able to, you know. Coax them out? It is the holiday season. It is. Yeah, after all, you know, like they don't want to be, you know, hiding. People want to see them and catch yeah, up. I think exactly. so. Exactly. So, Michael, do you think that you can lead us to the throne of grace? I'll be more than happy. Thank you. Dear Father, we thank you for this opportunity tonight to come together once again with those in our community and to join one with another in the studio tonight to bring another episode of In the Upper Room, Lord. Um, we're going to have some information for our viewing audience and we hope that this information will edify them, educate them and inform them, which will ultimately empower them, Lord, because you're a powerful God and we are your children born in your image. So we too can do great things because all things are possible for those who love the Lord. So just bless this program, bless our audience in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, thank you, Michael. All right. And with that, we wanna encourage you to stay tuned because like we said, we have a very exciting program and we want you to be a part of it. We'll be right back. <laughs>